So I went to Barcelona. You see, you 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 can't say that without singing it. stayed at the Avin, 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 uh, 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 some hotel in in a, in a street somewhere. The, ho the hotel was great. We've got a TV. And uh, we've got a red light. <laughs> and I think that's now calling a hooker. Prostitutes. Prostitutes. <laughs> Prostitutes never did turn up. First day, open bloody top tour bus. <laughs> Selfie in the The open top bus is the perfect way to see the city and get your bearings. However, don't make the mistake I did and use the other company's bus map because it can get confusing. Yeah, that, that was confusing. Not only do you get a great view of the city from the open top bus, but you also get an audio commentary with some great cheesy sound effects to listen to as you go around. And, and you get free headphones. Look, they're headphones and they're free. So we finished the bus tour with a trip round the Sagrada Familia, the Cathedral Gaudi designed. I think means bloody big church in, in Spanish. It was designed by Gaudi but he never got to see it finished in all its splendour as he was run over by a tram. They don't tell you that in art college. My recommendation to see this work of Gaudi is take a tour as it takes you inside. It's even more impressive and booking means no queues to get in. Highly recommended top tip. Building of the cathedral is estimated to be finished around 2026.
The second day was spent up the mountain to take a look at the Olympic Stadium. Built in 1992 for the 1992 Olympic Games, it stands proud on top of the mountain. Olympic bloody stadium. Well, I went up there because there, there was something I just had to do. So I've just been for a piss in the Olympic Stadium. To get down from the mountain I recommend taking the cable car which takes you all the way down to the harbour. You could see, well you could see everything from there it, it, except my house because my house was like, it was like back in England. The cable car descends down to the harbour and it's well worth a trip, giving you a bird's eye view of Barcelona city. Also one of the tallest cable cars in Western Europe. Day, Gaudi's garden, the garden Gaudi designed. The garden is situated in the hills at the top of the city, a great way to get away from the hustle and bustle and the crowds. Being designed also by Gaudi, the garden's very different in style to a normal garden you might find. I found it very tranquil and with views across the city it was a great place to reflect and enjoy my trip to Barcelona. Just look out for kids taking a dump in the bushes. So I say goodbye to Barcelona. I had a most enjoyable trip. Barcelona, the city in Spain that never sleeps. Go there, you know, check it out for yourself. Check out a uh, lovely view of uh, Barcelona. Uh, wowzers. <laughs> <laughs>